this plane crashes into the Hudson River and Sully is there. Well, we're, we're talking about uh, Chesley Sullenberg. <laughs> Captain Chesley Sullenberg, Sully for short. We'd love to interview this guy because, you know. Why? He did save a lot of lives. I, I give him a lot of credit for that. Um, he truly did something pretty extraordinary. He saved a plane full of people that, in all, and if life was fair, those people would have died. Because there's too many other people. You know what I mean? People say life's not fair. Sometimes when life's not fair, you live. And uh, so he might call in. Let me see. What's the name of his new book? That's what he's promoting. <laughs> it's a really good one. It's called Making a Difference. Ugh. Oh, boy. And it says stories of vision and courage from America's leaders. Chesley Sully <laughs> Sullenberger with Douglas Century. It's a great name. Doug I'm Doug Century. <laughs> Doug Century here. Can I help you? Who, who, I don't know what to do. Get Doug Century on the case. <laughs> Doug Century, he's the man for the job. There's a missing child. Uh, Call uh, Doug Century. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Century. Why don't we just get him? Doug Century sounds like a bad commercial fucking hero. Like, I don't know what to do. I've spilled all of my gas. Doug Century is here. <laughs> and uh, on the cover is Captain Sully Sullenberg Chesley. Chesley. But this is different. This is not the captain we've come to know and love. This is the relaxed hero around the house. He's wearing a sweater. Oh, I see that, Jimmy. What is he leaning on? A chair? With an open collar. Probably the fucking plane wing. He's, he's, <laughs> I mean, metaphorically, too. He's, uh, he's wearing a, uh, an open uh, collared shirt with his, you know, the collars over the sweater. Shirt sleeves rolled up. You know, when you're making a difference, you got to get your fingers dirty. And it says, uh, Dude, you got your sweater. Yeah, you know what, dude? You got your sweater. You're leaning on an open dryer. I think he's leaning on the open door of a DeLorean. I don't know what the fuck that is. Isn't this his second book? Yeah. Well, how yeah. many books does a hero get? That's I mean, come on, already. one. Oh, it's a chair. Yeah. That's how, how about the hero gets one fucking book about the hero about thing? About the thing. Did. Yeah, but this is about other people heroes. Making, yeah, it's about America's well, leaders well, making a difference. The, the, the top one. Here's the top one. Tony Larusa. <laughs> Which we've all been um, yearning to hear his tales of heroism. And so, wait a minute. Tony LaRusso, who knew that steroids were happening all around him, yeah, that one. and decided to look the other way. That would be the one. Sully's going to be writing about him. Not just Sully. Doug Century. Oh, Doug Century. Right. I'm sorry. Doug Century here. Which, which means Sully doesn't know how to write a book. Well, that's what that means. Sully knows that you don't do Jim things Norton, on did you your have own. a with when you wrote your books? No, sir. That's right, because Jim Norton yes. is a true author. Yes, However, if I had the option, you know who I would have called? Who? Doug Century. Damn. You think some book company erroneously made a multi-book deal with Captain Sullenberger? Oh, yeah, and they realized this guy's a dud. <laughs> yeah. What's number two book? It's going to be called Making a Difference. And then when they realized he covered everything in the first book... <laughs> And they're like, they're like we're in trouble. Yeah, making a difference was a great idea, but he did write the one book about the plane crash, and he covered everything. <laughs> everything. So, so we're not sure. Is he? Well, no, 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 no. Hey, listen. Maybe for the second book, making a difference, he can talk about the after effect of uh, of, of 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 saving those people. His life after the the, the big day. Yes, and the people he saved, what yeah. they went on to do, and then somebody else that makes it. No, you don't understand. Uh, because he wrote an epilogue to the first book, basically we've covered everything. <laughs> There's nothing left to see here. He's a dullard. But he might know some people. He does have to be in the right place at the right yes. time, but he is a dullard. Yeah. It's, it's over 300 pages. Oh, Christ. Is it really? Yeah. But there's a lot oh, of pictures. The a lot of pictures, double spacing. A large <laughs> font. Very big font. Who else is going to be in this book? Uh, no, no one I know. Gene well, Krantz? Who the hell's Gene He's right, a NASA. Gene Krantz? Yeah. You know who he is? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. He's a NASA flight director during the historic Gemini and Apollo programs. Wow. Mm. Oh, you know what? I. All right, let me guess. <coughs> Did Ed Harris mm -hmm. play him in Apollo 13? That's a great question. No. Yes. Maybe. Let's see. Travis is fucking Googling right now. I'd like an answer, please. Well, you're going to get one. I'd like an honest answer. Because yeah. obviously you're not yep. the man. He played Gene Kranz. Okay. Yes, he did. So oh, Gene Kranz wow, is an historic then. figure. All right. However, I didn't pull that out. I was inspired by Doug Century.
<laughs> That's <is> right. <laughs> you need something ghost-written? Doug Century here. What's the matter? Fat kid have a scratch on his face? Go to the hospital. Doug Century here. <laughs> Dr. Doug. All this right. music should just follow him around. I would yeah. insist if my my name was Doug Sentry that this music followed me around this wherever is, I went. Or oh, this is probably Sully's walk-in music. <laughs> is it? Oh my God, that's <laughs> Doug Century. Yep. Doug Century. Douglas Century. What else has he written? What an awful beard. For other people. Barney Ross. Who the fuck was Barney Ross? The he life was, of a Jewish fighter. A yes. Jewish fighter. Barney Ross. He used to fuck Betsy in the ass. You Oof. Think, you think the Jewish fighter got hit in the nose a lot? <laughs> I'm a fucking hack. It was described by Publishers Weekly as a healthy mixture of reportage and memoir. <laughs> Sully hangs out with a bunch of bores. Holy shit. A bunch shit. of intellectual bores. Gene Kranz did have an interesting job, but I could talk to him for Whoa. 30 seconds. Doug Century helped write Ice's book. Oh, I. Wait. Ice. Okay. But Ice-T seems like the type of guy that could write his own shit. Why did he not need he to probably narrated it to Yo, my man, Doug Century. He probably just liked the name. Yo, <laughs> man, I know that nigga Doug Century gonna help me. <laughs> Yo, Douglas Century. That's a man. You know how ice T's so intense? We gotta remember this next time he comes in. Yeah. Talk to him about Talk Doug to Century. Us. Ice, Doug Century, go. Is he have anything funny? Or... <laughs> uh, wow. Well, this is gonna be a fun interview. When is Sully calling in? I don't know. He's not booked yet. Oh, well, let's not worry about it too much. We want Douglas Century. Oh, Tony LaRusso was arrested for a DUI a year ago in St. Louis? Yeah, of course he was. Cool. I wonder if that's the inspiration, how to drive drunk and get away with it. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. Opie and Anthony Lazy Shorts. All right. Is that your plug?